We want to determine the formula for the nth term of 0, 1, 3, 7, 15, etc. Well, notice we can rewrite this as 0, comma, 0 plus 1, comma, 1 plus 2, comma, 3 plus 4, comma, 7 plus 8. And so the, the ones in red are going to be powers of 2, which is 2 to the 0, 2 to the first, 2 squared, and 2 cubed. And then the term before it is actually the previous term. So like the zero was the first term, the one was a second term, three was a third term, seven was a fourth term, etc. So the next term is a previous term plus a power of two. So the previous term is a sub n minus one, and then plus we're adding a power of two. Well, how do we know it's n minus two? Let's see. The first term is n equals 1, second term is n equal 2, third term is n equals 3, etc. Notice the difference between n and the exponent. It's always going to be 2. So that's why I did n minus 2. And so this is our answer.